These are the steps to solve a linear system using the LU decomposition method. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson introducing LU decompositions and going over how to find them. In this video, we're just going to focus on how to use an LU decomposition to solve a linear system. To solve a linear system AX equals B, our first step is to use the LU decomposition to rewrite A as L times U. Thus, we rewrite the equation AX equals B as LUX equals B. Then, the product U times X is itself a column vector, and so we'll replace U times X with a new variable vector that we call Y. Replacing u times x with y gives us this equation, ly equals b, which can be solved easily for y. Once we know what y is, well, that's u times x. So we can solve y equals u times x for x now that we know those values of y. And then, once we know what y is, we can go back to that equation, y equals u times x, and solve this for x x, thus solving the system. In total, instead of solving the one system ax equals b, we solve two systems which each have triangular coefficient matrices and thus are quite easy to solve. For our example, we'll solve this system, where the matrix A has this LU decomposition. Again, link in the description for more details on finding these LU decompositions. If you like, you can verify that this product is indeed equal to A. But but we'll proceed with solving the system. Step one is to rewrite the equation AX equals B using our LU decomposition. So here's the equation AX equals B, and what we'll do is replace A with L times U. Thus, we arrive at this new equation, L times U times a variable vector X equals that column vector of constants. Then step two is to say U times X equals this new variable vector Y. And then we make the substitution, replacing U times X in that equation with this variable vector Y. Thus, we have L times Y equals b, and now we can solve this system for y, which is very easy because the coefficient matrix is lower triangular. To solve a system with a lower triangular coefficient matrix, we use what's called forward substitution. It's just like back substitution, if you recall that from Gaussian elimination, but it's going forward instead of backwards. That means the first equation, corresponding to the first row, gives us our first variable value, and in this case, it tells us that y1 equals 2, and then we can plug that into the next equation and plug what we find into the third equation, thus solving for all the variables. Since we know that y1 equals 2, row 2 gives us this equation, and we can replace y1 with 2. Thus, we have that 2 times 2, which is 4, plus y2 equals 2. So 4 plus y2 equals 2, and so y2 equals negative 2. Now that we know y2 and y1, we can plug those into the third equation and solve for y3. That gives us negative 2 plus negative 2 plus y3 equals 6. Again, this comes from the row 3 there. And solving this for y3, we get that y3 equals 10. Thus, we've solved for this new variable vector, y. Finally, in step three, we take this equation that defined y, u times x equals y, and replace y with its known values. Thus, we have u times x equals y. We just solve for all of those values. And now we can solve this system for x, the variables that we're actually trying to find. Again, this is easy because we have an upper triangular matrix as the coefficient matrix. And thus, we can solve this using back sub substitution. It's just like forward substitution, but going the other direction. So we start from row 3, which tells us that 2x3 equals 10, and so x3 is equal to 5. Then row 2 gives us this equation, and we know that x3 is 5. So we have that x2 minus 5 equals negative 2, and so x2 equals positive 3. Then row 1 gives us this equation, and we just found out that x3 is 5, and so we have that 3x1 plus 5 equals 2. 
Hence, x1 is equal to negative 1. And thus, we have the solution to the original system using the LU decomposition method. Now, this might seem easier than Gaussian elimination because we got to deal with these triangular coefficient matrices. But remember, most of the work was actually done in finding the LU decomposition, which we didn't walk through in this video. The advantage of this method is once you have the LU decomposition, you can use it to easily solve these systems no matter what the constant vector is. So if we had a different constant vector, we could again use this decomposition and solve the system very easily. So that's the LU decomposition method for solving linear systems. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. If you find my videos helpful, please consider supporting what I do by joining Wrath of Math as a channel member. You can get early and exclusive access to additional videos and extra practice and if you join at the premium tier or above, you can access the lecture notes used in my courses. Thanks for watching. Oh,